Here's the summary of our country report. Um, by the way, uh, Clota Harris sends her regrets for not being able to uh, give this presentation uh, herself. Um, the Constitution of the Republic of Ireland uh, can only be amended um, via referendum. Uh, and this makes its amendment process very participatory in nature, but not necessarily very, very deliberative. Um, in recent years, uh, this has started to change. Um, this process began in 2011 when a group of Irish political scientists organized We the Citizens. Uh, this initiative uh, first organized public meetings across the country to discuss possible reforms to Irish politics. It then convened a randomly selected deliberative mini public to discuss these reforms and make recommendations. Um, the Irish political establishment um, noted the success of We the Citizens. And so after the 2011 uh, election, uh, the two parties that formed government, uh, Fine Gael and Labour, agreed to organize uh, what would be called the Convention on the Constitution. Uh, the convention was composed of 66 randomly selected ordinary citizens, stratified across age, gender, socioeconomic status, and region, 33 elected politicians, and one impartial chair. The convention was charged with making recommendations on eight issues with constitutional implications, uh, the most famous of which was marriage equality. Uh, the convention met from 2012 to 2014, and its recommendations have generated three constitutional referenda to date, including a successful referendum of providing for marriage equality. Uh, based on the success of this referenda, the government organized a second deliberative mini public, the Citizens' Assembly. This body also contained 99 members plus an impartial chair, but this time all 99 members were randomly selected citizens, stratified as before. The assembly, which met from 2016 to 2018, was charged with making recommendations on five topics, the most important of which was Ireland's constitutional ban on abortion. Based on the assembly's recommendations, Ireland successfully repealed its abortion ban by a referendum in 2018. Ireland's third official deliberative mini public, the Citizens' Assembly on Gender Equality, was convened in 2020, although its work has been delayed due to COVID-19. This assembly again consisted of 99 randomly selected citizens plus an impartial chair and has been charged with reviewing the status of women in Irish society. While deliberative mini publics have not been officially enshrined in the constitutional amendment process, the Irish political establishment has increasingly recognized the role they play in both providing a space for ordinary citizens to contribute to the amendment formation process and for ensuring meaningful deliberation takes place during that process. Those roles are particularly valuable when controversial topics such as marriage equality and abortion are involved. The hope is that Ireland's constitutional amendment process will continue to incorporate this deliberative component in the years to come.